everyone. So I thought I would do a quick tutorial showing really basic one stroke using the Magpie Gel paints. So first of all, I'm just going to go in with a coat of Grit and Grace. I love this colour. So I'm just going to apply that as normal and then cure my lamp. And then I'm going to go in with my second coat. So now that's cured, I'm going to go in with Velvet Top, which is a matte top coat. So I prefer to paint on a matte top coat. If you didn't have one, you could go in with a normal top coat and buff. So that's the Grit and Grace matte. And now I'm going to get my Angle One Stroke 4 brush. So you can see there's like a pointy end that's higher and then a shorter end. I'm going to get my gel paints out on just a bit of foil. Now when you're picking up your paint it's important that you put the lighter colour on the higher end. So where the point is. So you're just going to push it through the gel until you get a little bead on the higher point. Just like that. And then you're going to put the darker colour on the bottom. So now you can see you've got two colours on your brush. And all you want to do is gently slide them across the foil and blend them. So you're going back and forth, go up a little bit, down a little bit until you get a nice blend in the middle. So that's your two colours on the brush. So I'm just going to blend that side a wee bit more so I wasn't happy with that. Okay, so that's much better. So now you're going to think about your positioning, where you want your flower to go. So I'm going to put my middle petal down first. So all I'm going to do is make a little V. And that way I know how far I need to go. So I'm going to position my brush on top of the first line. And then I'm going to start pushing over towards the other line. So you're just joining it up really. So I'm pushing it down and pushing it across at the same time. But I'm trying to keep that V shape. So you want to move the top of the brush around further than you move the bottom of the brush. Okay, so I'm just going to make another wee line and then I'll know where I want my next petal to start. And because we're going off the nail, you don't need to worry so much because you're just going to push it off. Okay, and I'm just going to push that one off too. But again, I'm still turning my brush, still trying to keep that V shape. And that is your first layer. Now, it doesn't matter too much what that looks like at the moment, because you can amend it. So I'm just going to push my brush through the gel I already have. There's plenty on that foil. You don't need to be reloading again um, too much. So I'm just going to think about where I want my next petal. So I'm going to put another wee line and just push it off the edge. So I'm turning my brush still. And that way it looks as though there's not just one flower stuck in the middle of the nail. And I'm just going to do the same at the other side. And that as you've got your first layer. So all I've done is cure that. And all I'm going to do is reload my brush and just go over the same again. If there's any wee bits you're not happy with, you can um, change it a little bit, make your petals a bit bigger. So I'm just pushing it over where I've already got it and you can see the difference in the colour already. And that's just with two layers. Okay. 
you feel like there's not enough on your brush, you can reload it. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm going to cure that in my lamp and then I'm going to get some yellow and some green on my foil. So I'll just put a little bit out and the same principle applies. So you want to put the lighter colour on the higher point of your brush. So in this instance, I'm going to put yellow on the higher point and green on the bottom. You could use green and white. Um, if you were using green and white, obviously white's going to the higher point, green's going to the lower point. And your lighter colour always wants to be on the outside, so it'd be, you could do your flowers any colour, um, but the lighter colour goes to the outside, darker colour in the middle. So I'm just blending that out again. If you're not happy with how much you've got, just go over it again. There's no rush with the gel paints, that's the good thing about it. If you're using acrylic paints they can dry quite quick but with the gel paints you've got until you pop it in the lamp. So with this leaf I'm going to do a little V and then a little line at the top and then what you're going to do is put your brush on the first line you've made and you're going to move that up to the middle and as you go to the middle you want to turn your brush um, so it's straight. It takes some practice, it took me a long time to get used to leaves. And then I go down the other side, so you start straight and then you start angling your brush out as you move down. I'm going to do another one here. Okay, and then I'm just going to do exactly the same. So you can see it's not the colour's not too intense on this first coat, but as soon as you put that second coat on, you can see how much brighter it is. So before that cures, I'm just, I want to make the bottom of that a bit fatter, so I'm just pushing it out a wee bit. And then I'm going to cure and then go in with my second layer, and I'm just doing exactly the same thing again. If it helps you, you can put your V's in again, but you don't need to. Um, if you don't want to, you just follow the lines. You can see how much brighter that is already. So you could do as many layers as you want. I've only done two today, but you could do three. Um, obviously, it's depending on your gel paints, depending on how pigmented they are. The magpie ones are really pigmented, so two is enough. You can fix any wee bits if you're not happy just move the, move it a little bit okay i'm just going to show you how i clean my brush in between so all i do is wipe it on like a bit of kitchen roll or a lint free pads um, but you always want to make sure that you're keeping the middle together so you want to squeeze that together now that's cured i'm going to go in with my detailer brush and some um, some of the white and then I'm just going to outline certain areas so I'm going to start with my leaf I'm just going to put a wiggly line through the middle you don't want that too straight nice and thin and just wiggle it through and that will automatically give you some more detail you don't need to use white you could use a yellow I'm just going to outline certain areas just to make it pop. And that makes that stand out more already. I'm just going to do the same on the other side.
So you can put as much or as little detail in as you want. Um, you might you might not like it outlined. You might like it to leave it as it is. That's entirely up to you. So now I've outlined my leaves, I'm going to go on to the petals. So it was quite hard for me to outline it into the camera. So it wasn't the best, but um, again, you don't want to outline everything and you don't want your lines to be straight. You want them to be wiggly. I'm sorry, I went out of shot there. Keep them quite wiggly. You don't want like a triangle. That's a good thing about gel paints as well, because if you do make a little mistake, mistake, sorry, you can grab a bit of your prep and wipe it off because you've cured what's underneath. And um, when you're using acrylic paints or something like that, if you make a mistake, you can't fix it unless you wipe the whole thing off. Once you're happy, you can cure that. And then what I'm going to do is just get some yellow on the end of my detailer brush and just add some little dots. And that's like the pollen. So I'm just going to add them in the middle. So now I'm going to get the white gel paint, so I used the plus before, this is just the ordinary one and I'm just going to add some final little details and um, some wee swooshies just to finish the nail off, like I say you don't need to do any of this, it depends what your client wants, depends how much time you've got, you can add some crystals or Whatever you want. Sorry, I went out of shot again. It was really hard to paint when I couldn't really see. Okay, so all I'm going to do is cure that in the lamp and then put a layer of Don't Be Tacky. You could matte top coat it, that looks really nice as well. Um, or you could matte top coat it and then do your detailing over that so that the nails matte and your little Azzy Dextras are shiny, that's really nice as well. And that is it out the lamp. That is your finished nail. I'd love to see all your recreations, guys. So tag me in them if you have a go. Thanks for watching. Bye.